Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Thoracic Base channel in Malaysia. Thanks for joining me today. In today's video, I'm turning the clock back to over 20 years ago to the time of the first Spider-Man movies released in 2002, the one featuring Tobey Maguire and the one that initially featured a string of promotional materials featuring the World Trade Center, which were then later recalled after the September 11th attacks. Now, during my time in film distribution, I worked on the releases for all of those early Spider-Man movies, Spider-Man 2 and 3, the Andrew Garfield ones in 2012 and 2014. But when the first Spider-Man movie came out in 2002, I was still working theatrical operations on the ground for a local cinema chain here in Malaysia. And we started to get those early materials as early as 2001, mid-2001. We got the teaser trailer, we got the promotional items like the posters, the banners, and this was at that time the most anticipated comic book film of all time. I would say that the anticipation for that first Spider-Man movie was higher than even Batman from 1989. So at the cinema, we had all this stuff, you know, fully up and displayed, okay, like a year in advance almost, right? That's the way it was back in the day because you had to get the momentum going sometimes like, you know, up to eight months in advance. We had the teaser trailer playing on almost all the screens. And on September 12th, as I recall it, I reported into work in the morning at the cinema and I received a notification from a GM stating, first of all, that the Petronas Twin Towers here in Kuala Lumpur had been officially shut down for the whole day. Okay, nobody was allowed in or out. Our company's headquarters, the base of operations for the whole cinema, which was located in the building just connected to the Twin Towers, that had been closed as well. Okay, the whole building was just shut down for the entire day. And the reason for this was that there was an initiative taken by the government to make sure that you know, everybody was vacated from these tower structures because at that point, nobody knew what was the reason for these attacks. Okay, they were taking place in the United States. Okay, nobody knew what was going on. And all this was happening at a time when the internet was still in its very early days. People just didn't have access to information at the snap of their fingers. Okay, we didn't have social media like Facebook or YouTube yet. Smartphones weren't even invented yet. People just couldn't take a photo just on the go, okay, right? Because they didn't have phones with cameras in them. So information was just coming in in bits and pieces, just scraps of it. Nobody knew what the reason for these attacks were, what was going on. And because of that, okay, they decided to just shut down these towers here in Malaysia because somebody could have been intentionally targeting towers or tall structures. Who knows, okay? All right, who knows what these maniacs wanted, all right? So look, that's what was going on on the ground here. And the next thing that happened like a couple of hours later into the day was that we received the fax. And you know what? If you guys worked in an office, especially back then in the early 2000s or 90s, stuff like that, you know that the fax machine was a really big deal, okay? It's only important shit that came through the fax machine, okay? When somebody wanted to send through something that's, uh, that's important, that's critical, okay? Like a memorandum or something like that, you know, a critical document, they used the fax machine, okay? So when we hear the fax machine getting activated, yeah, we know that some serious shit is coming through, okay? Usually, most of the time. So there was a directive from the film studio that stated that all promotional materials for Spider-Man had to be taken down with immediate effect. All materials, including the posters, whatever trailers that were playing on screens, everything had to be removed and taken down ASAP. Okay, that was the directive. That's all it said, actually, with immediate effect. It didn't go into any explanation as to stating why or what were the reasons for it, but, you know, we could figure it out, okay? Definitely. Sometime later, we will receive a new batch of materials to promote the movie, new posters with new visuals. I think one of the more prominent ones just featured Spider-Man crawling alongside a building, which is okay. I mean, it was serviceable. It got the job done. But to me personally, none of this stuff could match the impact of that original teaser poster, Okay, the one that I felt really tied in Spider-Man to the majesty of the city that he protected, Okay, the greatest city on earth, New York City. Guys, let me know your comments below. Share our stories if you got any, and I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Take care out there.